So we're gonna twist here. And that didn't sound good. Slowly, nope. Hey everyone, I'm Joe. Today I am testing out pasta gadgets. We have several different pasta gadgets we found from all over the internet. I'll be checking out these gadgets based on these three criteria. If they make the process easier, how well they work, and are they a good value for the price? I love pasta, let's get started. We have a stainless steel pressure pasta surface machine. It did come with free delivery. This big old heavy duty countertop pasta extruder, the raviol lamp, pasta stamps, pasta stamp, pasta stamp. This little guy here I am incredibly excited about. Little singing floating pasta timer, Mr. Al Dente. Restaurant cheese grater here for grating cheese for the pasta. There's pictures of pasta on it. And last but not least, we have a new and improved I use strainer. We have all of our gadgets here. Now all we need is the pasta dough and we can get to work. All right, we've unboxed our pasta extruder here. Put this together. I'm gonna turn it on. We're on. Kind of makes me a little nervous dealing with all of this plastic. Normally I know metal is better. Oh, we gotta add flour, so we're going to start there. I have a mix of eggs and water. Start. Mix. Now this is where I slowly add my liquid. Kind of do 50-50 here. That is uh, what the recommended dosage is on the box. I think the timer in here says it only takes two minutes. An extruder here, what it does is uses pressure to force the dough through these different dyes and different shapes in order to make pasta. It says it can make up to a pound and a half. You know, about a pound is good for two to four people. In theory, dried box pasta is usually better than anything you can make at home. It turned off. Oh, it looks like we're extruding. The dough inside actually looks pretty good. I don't know if it's okay. At this rate, we'll have spaghetti by tomorrow. It's like little baby spaghettis coming out into the world for the very first time. It actually has texture on it, which is a good thing. I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, semolina flour here and give it a little dust. And we're gonna use this. And that actually looks pretty promising. I'm very impressed by this entire machine. The question is, is this better than just buying dried box of pasta? You gotta get out this whole machine, you have to wash it, and a box of spaghetti is only about a dollar. The dough itself seems a little delicate and fragile. I'm not sure if it's gonna hold up when we go to boil it. I'm very curious to see how these are gonna cook up. Now we're on to the handheld, old-fashioned version of extruding pasta. This is called a torquio. Uh, it's made by twisting the top and you're forcing the dough through the bottom, much like the extruder we were just using, but uh, handheld. The price of the real one is four or $500. Probably about twice, twice as big like this and hangs over the edge of the table. So that way you're like extruding and you have these big turning things. Screw the bottom on. So we're gonna twist here. And that didn't sound good. We just squirted off the bottom. I heard a loud snap. Let's unwind, take two. Slowly. Slowly, nope. Maybe I was doing it backwards. And we got another pop. It's falling apart. The dough is creating too much pressure inside of the die. Looks like this guy's a bust. I don't think that's gonna work. We're going to test out the pasta we had extruded with our countertop extruder. So let's see if it holds when we cook it. And we're going ahead and drop this into our water. Give it a little stir and break up the nests. I have some tomato sauce. We're just gonna get started. I'm gonna pull one out, give it a little taste test. I'm just about al dente there. We're gonna go up here into our tomato. Pull all of our noodles out of the hot tub. For the most part, they held together. It's not falling apart. We got a nice good noodle pull there. Time to try these out. Now I have another pasta gadget here, my cheese grater. I'm gonna break off a piece, slide it inside. That goes there. And oh my gee. 
Look at that. Cheese grater worked great. Did what it should, kept it nice and easy. You twirl it and swirl it and enjoy it. I'm very happy with this. We're gonna come back, test out our strainer, test out our timer with some dried pasta from a box. All right, we have al dente. This guy is supposed to sing to me at different intervals, has four different melodies, depending on the four different cook points of al dente you want to hit. That's Amore, the Godfather theme, Tarantella, Napolitana, and the Prisoner's Choir. He goes into the water pot with the dried pasta. So this is not a regular timer. I don't know how this works, some sort of witchcraft and wizardry. This is kind of one of those magical moments. We'll go two handfuls of pasta. We're gonna go Mr. Al Dente into the water. Let's see what happens. That's amore. That's amore. I think that's how the song goes. He's dancing, now we're just waiting for him to sing. All of my years of culinary and cooking experience, I am completely forgetting about and simply relying only on al dente. Al dente, first name Al, last name Dente. I think we're all... That's more. We're gonna pull out one noodle. Okay, very undercooked, but Maybe that's a fresh pasta, the timer. First round done, he's supposed to sing again. We're hanging out in the kitchen. I'd say we're, we're a little more than halfway on the cook. That next timer might actually be perfect. I don't understand why they don't make like cell phones out of this, where you can just drop it into a pot of boiling water. If you're not a pasta pro, I mean, I think this is, could actually be useful. At the very least, it just reminds you to check the water and you're testing the pasta. That's al dente. Mr. Dente, you nailed it. Next pasta tool here, this is like a uh, silicone uh, strainer of sorts that clamps onto the pot. That goes there. And then we're gonna try this pouring motion. We got a little bit of leakage in the back. But it's it's catching all the pasta. Oh, that actually worked pretty well. Kind of goes against, you know, what I would normally do. Because I like the pasta water. I feel like you need that with the sauce. This is small, compact, and I mean it does does the job. Sounds like his innards are still working. Thank you, Al Dente. I could not have done it without you. We have this box set of ravioli molds. I have my pasta sheets. I have a cheese filling, a little bit of spinach pureed in here. In my bag, we'll pipe filling into each of these. I always like a little spritz of water. Then we have our other sheet we're going to place on top. And then we should be able to roll right down. Oh, we got a little excess, that's okay. And in theory, with force, this should cut our shapes too. You can see it kind of working. And then if we pop it out, we have our shapes. They didn't cut all the way in the center, but we have this other tool here, which actually might work out to our advantage. Pretty easy. Pretty painless. They got a good weight to them. The filling held up, they're sealed. And we have all of our little raviolis. We'll go and try the traditional way that I have always done it. They feel really light and flimsy. So I have a sheet of pasta. I have my filling. Always like to get a little gauge. We have our top sheet. We'll lay over. We have our stamp. See, to me, I feel like this is the way to do it. Maybe you have a little bit of waste, but you could always roll this out, 
reuse it, get another sheet out of it. At the end of the day, you can cook all of these up, have delicious pasta in minutes. Probably won't stand up to work in a restaurant, but for casual pasta making, pretty good bargain. All right, we've tested out all these pasta gadgets that we found. It's time to break down my final thoughts. Tabletop counter version of extruding pasta. I like the way this worked. It takes up quite a bit of space. It's not very fast, but if you're looking for an extruder, how much does this cost? $150. To me, that's a little pricey. I'm gonna give it a three out of five just because it did a good job. Handheld extruder, this did not hold up. Could not review it, essentially. How much did that cost? $20. A lot of times you get what you pay for. I believe in this case that is true. I'm gonna give that a zero because it didn't work. Next, we had our cheese grater for pasta garnishes and grating cheese accoutrements. This worked wonderfully. It's like when you're at your favorite super classy Italian restaurant and they come over and they ask you to say when, when you're getting your cheese on top and then you kind of feel like that person that never wants to say when and the pile just keeps getting bigger and you're, oh wait, is that just me? This worked really well. How much does it cost? $17. I think that's a little too much for a tool like this that doesn't really hold a big piece of cheese. Two and a half. Two and a half just because I don't see the value for $17 in a cheese grater like that. Al dente, the singing pasta timer. I was blown away by this. It's next level dark arts, but how much did this cost? $20 for al dente. I don't think the value's there for the money. You could definitely get a kitchen timer. Definitely not worth $20, but perhaps it's like one of those like holiday gag gifts or like a birthday present for someone you only kind of like. I'm gonna give this a three out of five. Next, our silicon strainer. How much does this cost? $11. Seems like a pretty good deal. Takes up less space if you have a tiny kitchen than a big colander. It held a whole pot of pasta, strained the water, no problem. Uh, I'm gonna say four. Four out of five on this one. Finally, our ravioli tools here. Ravioli trays. It's the first time I've used these. They could have done better. I'm sure they get easier the more you use them. $40. I think that's that's probably a pretty good deal. Make a lot of raviolis really fast. I, I'd give that, I'd give that a four. And then these stamp tools, they're just inexpensively made. They're not sturdy, they're not heavy duty, but they could get the job done for small amounts of pasta. These cost $17, that sounds about right. I'm not upset with that price at all. For 17 bucks, I mean, four out of five, it's not, not a bad option there but I think my favorite, except for the price, is our little singing friend, Al Dente. If you wanna check out any of these gadgets we used today, all the links are in the description below. That's it for today. Reviewed all of these pasta gadgets we found on the internet. Thanks for sticking around. If you guys have any other gadgets you want me to review, please leave a comment down below. Or if you wanna see some next level pasta making, check me out on Instagram, chef.joe.sasto. Thanks.